some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Prowers County, Colorado, where a sovereign citizen was involved in an issue at the local Walmart where the police had to be called to intervene is now being pulled over because of expired tags. And surprise, 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 he also had a revoked license. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello, Mr. Curry, Officer Remy. I just spoke to you. Officer. You're revoked and your place are expired. <laughs> Thank reasonable, reasonable articular suspicion for pulling me over. Your place are expired as of April 2022 and you're revoked for three alcohol refusals in the state of Colorado. Okay, I need you to read that. Okay, I'm not going to read that. Do you have the entrance to the vehicle? Okay, so I want you to know that right now what you're doing is you are committing deprivation of yep, rights. Well, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm aware of what that is and I understand my legal standing and authority in the state of Colorado, which is what governs what I do, okay. which is specific to CRS. Also, the United States Supreme Court has okay. that, that doesn't matter to me. Has ruled that you cannot impede my traffic and keep me from traveling. Okay, you do not have a. I, I'm not, I, I don't want to listen to that because I've already heard it. I know what the sovereign citizen. No, no, that's not a sovereign citizen. You okay? They have ruled. Oh, but you are a sovereign citizen. Just admit it already, because you are using all the same arguments that any other sovereign citizen would use, including the tired old deprivation of rights argument, which never really works. But it's sure as hell funny to watch you idiots try it on actual judges and watch you get a legal smackdown as a result of that. Yeah, we're good. Do you have your interest in the vehicle, sir? Hold on, give me a I, second. I'm, I'm requiring you to require... I'm asking you for your insurance, which is required Just by state law. Well, one second to explain. Mr. Curry, I, I don't want to hear it. Okay. One second to explain. I, 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 I don't need to hear it. That doesn't pertain to me because of what you think that says. I'm familiar with that 18 code, so I have not been convicted of okay. any... No, but the DMV has revoked your license in the state of Colorado. I understand that. But that is also unconstitutional. Okay, well, that's you can take that to the Supreme Court. You also took an oath to uphold the Constitution. And I may explain this stuff to you how the U.S. Supreme Court has already ruled that you cannot stop me from traveling. Okay, I'm, look what we got here. We got more like we got here, but that doesn't bother me. Okay, so... Well, you do have the right to travel, first of all. I mean, you do. You can walk. You can run. You can even ride a bike. Second of all, stop trying to deflect attention away from your stupid sovereign citizen arguments by pointing at the frauditor that is filming just beyond the range of the officer's uh, camera. And yes, there is a frauditor just outside of the range of this officer's camera. But, but we'll be able to see him here in a few minutes. Just not well enough to identify who he is. What you need to understand okay. is what you're doing okay. is violating my Constitution. And that is your opinion. It is the 14th Amendment. Mm -hmm. That is your opinion. The U.S. Constitution. Uh -huh. Are you aware of the 10th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, which gives it the power to the that states to matter. dictate law? That's actually the 10th Amendment. Let me explain this to you in plain, simple words, solved hard. The 14th Amendment is about... Wait a second, did that cop just say what I think he said? Did he actually educate that Sovtard on the Tenth Amendment? I've been waiting quite a while to hear an officer use that in an argument. But of course, as we can see here in a moment, that this Sovtard is just going to wave it off like it doesn't exist. But of course, that's because he's never actually studied the Constitution like he says he has. So let's continue on, shall we? What you're doing? Okay. What you're doing? So, are you going to provide me with your proof of insurance or not, Mr. Curry? What you're doing? You don't have a reason of yes, I do. Articulable suspicion for the stop. <laughs> yes, I do. No, you do not. Yes, I do. You're in violation of 42 section one D, which is driving under state Colorado Rice statute. You're also in violation of 42 3114 subsection one A, which is driving on expired plates, which is again a Colorado Rice statute. Obviously, did these, you run the tags? Yes, I did when I pulled up and contacted you at the Walmart. Okay, and what did it come up as? Four of 22. Okay. I want you to know that I registered this as a non-commercial vehicle. I deregistered the tags, therefore mm -hmm. they are not expired. So they're fictitious? No. no. Because these tags I are expired. I purchased the tags. Okay. 
I still have the state of Colorado, actually. I purchased the tags, and then I deregistered them, okay, which means that I purchased my tags, okay. okay. They're still owned by the state of Colorado, which is why they can actually vote? not. I have the receipt for it, because right. I, I bought them. I understand that. Do you understand the paperwork you signed at the courthouse? Non-commercial vehicle. Okay. Okay. This you don't own those plates. It doesn't matter if you registered them for commercial or not or whatever. Once you unregister those tags, they become invalid and you can be pulled over and fined. You really need to stop listening to all those soft hard YouTube videos. This is Are not. You gonna no. give me the insurance or no? I'm trying to tell you no, that you I don't have probable cause. And I'm disagreeing with you and lawfully I have the right to do this. You lawfully do not have okay. the right to do this. We can agree to disagree, but Cardinal Law Cardinal Law requires you to provide proof of insurance to me upon request. On upon probable cause for the stop. No, and I'm trying to tell you you did not have probable I do have probable cause based on Colorado law. You do not. Okay, so you want to refuse that? Because I, I gotta go to refusing. I'm trying to get you to understand that what you're uh -huh. doing is And what I'm unlawful. telling you is you're incorrect. No soft hard. Driving in the state of Colorado without insurance is illegal. And the side of the road is not the place to be arguing with it with an officer. If you want to argue your point, go to a court and try your hand with the judge. Though I don't think he'll be sympathetic towards your plight. And I'm I am not incorrect. Okay, that's your opinion, sir. My Another opinion thing. and the, the oath that I uphold with the state of Colorado is that you don't have a driver's license. Did you know that there's persons exempt from driver's license that's also a Colorado revised statute? Simple, but did you know that? I understand what the law is. Do you know what law that is? No, I don't need to know. Well, let me look it up and I'll show you. I don't. So well, I've got a question for you. If you think you're exempt from having a driver's license, why do you even have one to begin with? And looking through the statutes on what you were just talking about, I don't think you would qualify on any of those. So are you going to give me your insurance or not? Hold on just a second. So I'm Curry, I'm hold on to this point. I've now asked for it five times. At this point, I'm going to step back to my vehicle. It's going to be considered a failed for right proof insurance because I've asked you repeatedly. That's not what the law reads. The law reads upon my request. I have requested it for a lawful traffic stop. Not to mention your vehicle is also defective with your broken windshield. Hold on just a second so I can give you the statute, okay? Time for it. If you'll send everything to me. Just your information, subject to refusing to provide proof of insurance or anything. I haven't refused yet. I have asked it, and not providing is not following my direction. I have not refused it. I'm trying to get you to understand. No, I'm 10 for And if you'll note that Mr. Owens is also on scene recording. Well, now, it doesn't surprise me that the local frauditor is well known to the police in the area. Okay, then we got unlawful evidence. Okay, so I'm go I gotta go to another call. But I am going to submit this to the DA for an arrest warrant, and that way a judge can review it because I don't have time to sit here and write you a citation because okay. I have to go to this other call. But at this point, you have refused to provide the proof of insurance. I have not refused it. Okay. I have asked for it. Uh, specifically, the statute says upon request. Are you going to provide it to me now? Upon probable cause of it. Okay. I'm going to take that as refusal. I'm going to go to the other call, but I'm going to draw this up, and I'm going to write a warrant for your arrest for failure to provide proof of insurance and driving under revocation. Okay. You do that. And if a judge assigns it, then you will go to jail, obviously. Okay? But I understand you are not, you can't drive. So if, I, if you drive away from here, it's another charge. Oh, so now you're, now what you're doing. Now, I'm telling you, you can't drive. Now yes. what you're doing is you, oh man, now this is entrapment. Okay, stopping you from committing further crimes is entrapment. Okay, whatever you say, soft hard. No, it's not entrapment. I'm not allowing you to break the law. I'm telling you not to break the law. If you choose to go into your own hands and break the law, that's your own decision, Mr. Curry. Okay. You're not letting me show you the, the statute. No, because the statute I know what you're referring to doesn't pertain to this. Yes, so here's my business card. So since I am releasing you at this point and not in citation, I am going to give you a business card. But I do have to go to this other call. So understand that I will write an arrest warrant and it will be submitted to the district attorney's office for review, which will then be sent to the judge for, um, to be signed. Okay? Yeah, I've got your body cam on. Absolutely, the whole time. I, everything we do is recorded, okay? And obviously it appears Mr. Owen's recording it, so if you want to contact him, you can, because he's got a video of it, and I'm sure you're recording it. Not part of retaliation, is it? No, sir. No, no you're out of the court, you're good. It is definitely retaliation. I don't know what retaliation is, is it? 
Oh, there goes the persecution complex. It's not my fault that the uh, police were called on me at Walmart. It's not my fault that I was pulled over due to bad tags and no license. Oh, me, oh my, woe is me. I am the innocent party here. So, have a better day. Don't drive. I understand your plates are expired. You don't have a driver's license, and at this point, you've not proven any insurance to me. You have committed unlawful. That's fine. Seizure. If I actually haven't searched your car, so violated my fourth amendment. Okay. Okay, soft heart. Please explain this to me of how your fourth amendment rights were violated, considering you were not searched and nothing was seized from your person or property. Oh my goodness, you're an idiot! If you would like to file a claim, you can go to Denver and file a Title 1983 lawsuit. You're more than welcome to do so. But as of this point, or you can go down to the police department and file a complaint with the PD administration. False imprisonment. Absolutely, if you feel that way. I have a lawful reason to contact you, but that's okay. It is just one idiotic statement after another with this soft hard. It is not a violation of your Fourth Amendment rights to ask for your driver's license or anything of that nature. He also ran your tags and they came back suspended and your driver's license were revoked. End of discussion. So, we'll just go win a rest warrant and we'll see what the judge says, right? What's it? Go back up today. No, they're on another call. I actually need to go to it. Corey Remy, what's your real badge number, buddy? 712. It's no, on my business no, card. No, the real badge number. 712. No, your PID. I don't have to provide you with my post ID. Really? Correct. You don't have to give me your nope. PID? No, sir. I am not required by law to give you my PID upon your request. He's I have not, to. He's failing You're to. required by what? He's failing I'm to. I'm not identify. providing my post identification number. You're supposed to. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'm not giving You're it. giving me a yeah. false PID. I'm not giving you a false. I give you my, ba my badge number with the city of Omaha 712. Okay, so, there. you have a great day. Don't try it because you don't have a license. What was that, Mr. Owens? Fuck you. Oh, okay. I just want to make sure I heard you correctly. I appreciate you it, sir. Body, you got your body camp yes, on? Yes, sir, I do. Sure. It's recording you recording me. Yeah, it's kind of ironic, huh? The horse you rode in on. Okay. Oh, well, have a great day, sir. I appreciate it. Okay. Have a good day, Mr. Owens. Just understand you'll be listed as a witness in this court case. Let's not kid ourselves, people. He ended up driving away, but those warrants were issued and he was arrested six days later so let's take a look at that video shall we what are you guys doing huh? what are you guys doing he's gotta go upstairs i gotta talk to him okay. what's going on step over here for me you have a no, no, no. He got released later that day, but ended up getting arrested not too long after that. So let's watch that, shall we? Leave me alone, guys. All you got to do is come and talk to us. I'll tell you what's going on, okay? You got another warrant for your arrest, man. How did I get contempt of court? I, uh, I have no idea what I didn't go to court. Yeah, I have no idea what court. Can I see the warrant? Go ahead and show us what in custody. Also, can you tell me what those warrants are for? Do you want it or you want me to? Um, it's up to you. She's going to tell me what those warrants are. I'll take it. Charlie Crew. Crew. There's going to be no bond on May 2nd, 2020 on driving under the influence of a refusal. DUI. You forgot to show up to court. No, I didn't. Or is it's it a failure. new charge? Uh, no, failure to comply. Aye, uh, copy. Can I, can I see those, the warrant? Do those yeah. show new we'll charges? Or no, I wanna, no, 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 I wanna see the warrant first. I wanna see the warrant. I wanna see the warrant first. I wanna see the warrant. I wanna see the warrant. Uh, you have anything on you? Poke, you, poke me, stick no. me, harm me, blow no. me up. No, okay. I don't. We're going to take a bunch of stuff out of your pocket. Okay. I do not consent to any of this. Okay. He gets released again, and he is caught driving his vehicle again, and this time it is towed. But of course, he thinks that they need a warrant to even tow it. So let's just enjoy his inane stupidity while it lasts. You do not have permission to tow my vehicle. You do not have my permission. 
I do not consent to you. You did not. You did not do a traffic stop. You are profiling me. Get away from me. You do not. I do not consent to you. I do not consent to you towing my vehicle. Well, that's the end of his video, folks. He got arrested twice. He got his t truck towed. I mean, there was just no end to his soft hard stupidity. I mean, oh my goodness. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. I will see you next time. Bye bye.